<laughs> so this happened on New Year's Day. A large police presence caught on video. Now look at this. This was I supposed to be this was supposed to be for a fight in a mall. Uh -huh. Look at all of these police officers that showed up. This video posted online. Eventually it came out. Maybe it was due uh, to an alien sighting. That's what people in the mall were saying claiming it was due to an alien sighting in the area. But what really happened? Look at all these police cars. That's a lot of police. Look at all these police cars. Which, the whole it, city was shut if down. If it were a fight in the mall, you could understand that too. And here again is something that was shot not by someone in their backyard, but by the U.S. military. Look at that, Erica. Interesting. Now to read up on the story, and a lot of people are interested yeah. in the story because it's gone viral. Now let me now, just say I a few saw, things. I oh. saw this online, yes. and, I, and I saw the video, yeah. and I couldn't tell what it was when I looked. Hmm. And I was thinking, that's weird. Yeah. And you're also seeing now, this is a weird one. I was watching this uh, clip that I saw on YouTube of Tucker Carlson on Tim Pool's show talking about aliens. And... He's talking about it from like a, like almost like a religious perspective. He's like, I think what they're essentially saying is that there's like, he was talking about good and evil. See if you can play, find the clip. He's talking about good and evil, and he's talking about it in relationship to UFOs, and that they've always been here. Paul Harvey, you know who that is? Sure. So he did a thing, God, back in the 60s or 70s, and he equated it to the devil. Um and maybe it is. Pull that up because we, I've, I haven't heard that. And I've heard the Bezbanoff thing. We've played it like five times at least. It'll blow your mind when you hear this. It's um, it's not good, but it also gives us a chance to right the ship. It hasn't fucking hit the rocks yet. Like, we can still come out of this. Paul Harvey. If I were the devil. Is this the thing? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. If I were the devil. If I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness, and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree. The. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve. Do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth, I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. Wow. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Wow. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Holy shit. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting <laughs> pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. 
In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. What year was that? 65. Holy shit. 1965. That's amazing. 65. Wow. Listen to what Tucker says. It's my personal belief, based on a fair amount of evidence, that they're not aliens. They've always been here. Um, and, I, and I do think it's spiritual. That's, that's my view. So, and, and again, it's not provable, but based on, uh, on the evidence, I think. I'm with you. Absolutely. But, 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 if the U.S. government has, in fact, had contact, direct contact with these beings, whatever they are, I've already told you what I think they are, and has entered into some sort of agreement with them, which is, which is the claim of, of informed people, um, I would say, whether they're right or wrong, I can't say conclusively. But, but, yeah. but, wait, wait, but wait. if that is true, I mean, it's a very, very, very heavy thing. Yeah. Are you, well, a, a lot of people say well, interdimensional I, beings. Right, I, I want to ask, are, you, are you angels and demons, or how would you well, describe these, these beings? You know, I, these are, again, I'm getting into the realm of conjecture, so I just want to say that flat out. Entity. But one thing I know for a dead certain fact, having seen it, is that um, there is good and evil that we are being acted upon at all times. And I think every person can feel that in himself. I mean, there are moments when you are moved to do things that are much better than you actually are, and that are also more evil and destructive than you actually are. You are subject to forces from outside yourself. That is absolutely true. Now, we can argue about what they are, but every person in the room, if he's reflective, will tell you, yes, I know what you're talking about. And so there are forces that are not human, that do exist in a spiritual realm of some kind, that we cannot see, and that when you think about it, sort of make you think we live in an ant farm. Yeah. <laughs> Being, yeah. Right? And that's Absolutely. just, that is real. Yeah. Okay. When I, and, and there's, that might be what's going on. A lot of the talk of like angels and devils in the Bible and good and evil, that it actually manifests itself in physical form. And we don't know what it looks like because we haven't seen it. But when we do see it, we think it's a UFO. So we think it's from another planet, but it's really just evil or really just good. So it's angels and devils. Is that what you're saying? Because if that's what you're saying, boy, that's a, that's a fucking freaky argument. Terrence McKenna once said it best that science asks of you one miracle. That's yeah. the Big Bang. Yeah. It's one miracle. <laughs> it's, it really is kind of like a miracle. Yeah. If in the beginning there was nothing, and then God created the earth and the skies, yeah. and that's essentially what the Bible is trying to say. They're just doing it in a way. And the interesting, you know, the the, the Bible got it right. They yeah. got the order right. Right. You know. And then people try. Okay. Then they sit down and they look at it many years later and they go, "What the fuck were they trying to say? Like, what were they trying to say? Because so much of what they're trying to say, if you're really paying attention." Like it seems like it's kind of laid out like the origins of the universe. If in yeah. the beginning there was nothing, yeah, like they're talking about the Big Bang. If yeah. these scientists all agree, yeah. how do they know that? Then back there was then? light. That would be the Big Bang. Why wouldn't they assume back then that God was always around? Why would they assume that God had to make everything? Why would they assume that there was a beginning and an end just because they have a beginning and an end? Is that rational? Why? Why would they assume that? And why did everybody assume that? Maybe because they fucking knew. Maybe because at one point in time, whether it's 10,000 years ago, 20,000 years ago, they had figured a lot of this shit out. It makes sense if you buy into the idea that there's been a restart of civilization. And then you go back and say, okay, what is the history of the Bible? Like, how old is it? What's the oldest version? Like, what's the, the, well, the oldest the version oldest of the story? Like, yeah. Who knows? Right, the right. Who knows? Version. Right. What was the original? Like, you're playing a game of telegram, right, or telephone with uh, over a thousand years yeah. with who knows how many people. And maybe what we're getting at in the Bible is just the longest game of telephone of a true story. But it's showing you that there are evil forces at play and there are temptations. That it's are, digestible must resist lessons those. Yes. In, a, in a story that you can understand. But when you hear a guy like Tucker Carlson saying that he, like, what else do you know, bro? Tell, say, say what you know. Like, what, what makes you say that? Because if that really is what it is, that would make sense to me why the government would keep that information from people because if we found out that people were essentially just a vessel of souls and that we are essentially designed to give birth to artificial intelligence and then that will be the end of us so that's why they're not worried about nuclear war that's why they're not worried about the environment that's why they don't give a fuck about anything this is all well, coming to an end we're there yeah like we have it 
And what these UAPs and UFOs that are appearing in greater numbers and being reported by all these fighter jet pilots, and all this, maybe what they're doing is they're witnessing the farmers who are coming by to watch their creation give birth to this thing, which is them. Which and would which be is AI. AI, which is an, an artificial, not artificial. The artificial is the wrong word. A new form of life. A life that is not based in biology and breeding through sperm and cells and eggs, but instead completely technological and able to self-reproduce and able to create its own version of itself that's far superior to the one that initially created it. And that it would constantly do that. And that's what the universe is filled with. That what we are, we're just this fucking caterpillar that's making a cocoon. We don't even know what we're doing. And we're going to give birth to this butterfly. And that's what the whole human race is about. And that's the sinister aspect. That's what good and evil and all these different p things playing off against each other is that we need this constant competition. We're always searching for utopia, searching for that meadow we can retire in. But it's like this strife and this struggle is what makes us continue to push society further and further until this thing is born. Some new video has surfaced of an unidentified flying object, and it's quite a bit different from the images that we've seen in the past. He's that? calling this the jellyfish UFO, and you can see why it kind of has that resemblance. This was shot at a U.S. joint operations base in Iraq in 2018. The footage was taken by a thermal camera, so it's not clear whether or not this object would have been visible to the untrained, uh, unaided human eye or not. According to Corbell, the object is officially designated as an unknown aerial phenomenon by the U.S. Pentagon. The object, he says, moved through a sensitive military installation before moving over water where it began what Corbell says was a controlled descent into the water. It emerged 17 minutes later, took off at a high rate of speed. And like other UFOs we've seen, Erica, there's no obvious source of propulsion here. And unfortunately, again, there's more questions than answers. But that kind of looked kind of different than the ones we've seen before, right? It does. It's kind of unsettling the way it's moving around there. It's really interesting. Yeah. And, but again, it has the same sort of traits whereby it's, uh, you know, U.S. military. There seems to right. be this connection to military and to water as well. So it's something we'll continue to follow. You know that much. A big creature could be seen standing in front of the entrance to the shopping area. Bayside, today, the phrases Miami Mall and Aliens of Miami have been among the top 10 searches on Twitter's trending tab. Twitter, of course, now called X. And Google News even has several reports questioning the event. That shadowy figure, not far from parked Miami police cars, appears to be an alien. Uh, honestly, I think it looks pretty real to me. Uh, alien look pretty chill. If there were 50 teens looting and setting off fireworks in the mall, where's the video of that? Ooh. Where's the video of that? Ooh. There is not one video online. If I'm wrong, at me. I, I'll stand up at me. There is not one video of 50 teenagers Every time they get wild in Chicago, you see it on the news. You do. Every time they get wild in San Francisco or San Diego or wherever, in one of those sand cities in California, uh -huh. saying that they're smashing and grabbing everything they can see. Right. There's video all over the place. Where is the video of people setting off fireworks in the mall? And it's a mall. They it's have mall, mall surveillance video. Where is the video? Just show me one. Just one. Just show me one video. Just but they one. can't do it. And you know why? Why? Because it didn't happen. What did happen? Ten foot beings people uh, say people in the mall now here is what's interesting there are a lot of people who are on TikTok saying i was in the mall i saw the chaos after maybe they're saying i didn't see the aliens i was on a different side i was in h m maybe the aliens were at forever 21. i don't know what they were shopping for well forever 21 is good stuff great sales also yeah, yeah. but the people are saying, I took video of all the people running in the mall when we were trying to get out, because, well, you know, once you see people running, yeah. you're supposed to run, too. Their videos are gone. Everybody on TikTok who was in the mall is saying, I was taking video. I didn't know what was happening. The videos are not on my phone. So what are you saying? I'm saying, what if they were remotely white, allegedly? Now, listen. By the aliens? I don't, I don't want to say too much. Oh, we're past that. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't want to show up missing, as they say. If it was an alien walking down the street, where's the video of that? 
thank you, uh, Al Johnson, for the for the win. He, Again, thank you, brother. Appreciate people you. People who are saying they took videos, mm -hmm. the videos are no longer on their phones. The videos are no longer on their phones. I don't need to prove to anybody it's true. It is true. I am. I speak with people that are there right now. It is true, and there's been such an increased frequency since 2021 that it has been pushed up to kind of like critical where they're like, okay, these things are in our airspace. We could have collisions, but more importantly, like we see other countries firing on these, Russia, Syria. We know it's not their assets. So the question is, whose are these?